Hey, what's up everybody? This is BSL, Let's Spinning Loser back again. Welcome to yet another bonus video for Let's Play Hyperdimension Neptunia Victory, Blind. And, uh, this time, I went and downloaded yet another bonus character, and let's see what she's gonna be all about. I assume I'm going to run into her as soon as I enter Planetune, just like I did with Marvy. Hmm, a little birdie told me that guy would be in this general area today. Oh, you're talking about Mr. Azawa again, Neptune? Uh-huh! A somewhat familiar-looking middle-aged man in a snappy suit. Howdy doody, Mr. Azawa! This sounds familiar. Well, would you look at this? It's the little lady. It's rare for you to talk to me, the guy in charge of Idea Factory's advertising. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Not the exact same. With Thing I do ideally, but this franchise is known for having sexy DLC characters, right, Roni? <laughs> I was hoping maybe you could slap those palms together and mumble a summon spell for one or two, or uh huh. Well, I did just finish eating the lunch that was lovingly prepared for me. Shall we try summoning a girl? Whoa, you'll actually try rad shiny eyes. Can I ask? For a new character? Someone like Mini Isti, but who also looks cute and animal like in a way. I love these fourth wall breaking moments in these cutscenes. But she absolutely has to have a really blunt way of pointing out people's flaws. Uh, you know, this combination of words is starting to relate, slightly remind me of Gust. That went from vague to very, very specific. Well, we won't know until we try. So let's give it a go. Uh. <laughs> Squee. I choose you! Again with the Pokemon! I feel like someone called me, Neil. And now, for character, bonus character number two. You. She's pretty, by the way. Oh man, cuteness overload. Hey, hey, what's your name? Mm, broccoli. What's yours, Mew? Oh, I'm Neptune. That Nepermentunia works too. Nepermentunia. I gotta turn this up a little bit. I'm sorry if there might be a little bit of echo, but I gotta hear this. Puchiko. Puchiko? Broccoli, you. Let's not split pairs, okay? You're small and cute, and I've decided Puchiko is a better name. You're terrible at listening, you. <laughs> what are those eyes now? <laughs> Fine. You're Nep, Mew. You still haven't told me where I am. This place is foreign to me, Mew. Welcome to Planetune! Planet for Oh! I bit my tongue, Mew! <laughs> I was on my way to Gamers! Now I'm in some weird girl's town! What happened to me, Mew? Uh, well... Hippity hoppity who? Hippity hoppity who? Does that possibly reference to bibbity bobbity boo? Again. Cool. So anyway, Puchiko. Not Puchiko. Broccoli, you. I already said this. Don't even trip, kiddo. To me, Puchiko will always be Puchiko. Are you deaf or just an idiot, you? <laughs> when I get my eyes all up in your grill, Puchiko, you're different than different people. So you're different. Where I come from, I'm normal, Mew. Now the mouth. Whoa, we ripped you out of a pretty neat and interesting world, then. You're annoying, Mew. But 
Since this world interests me too, maybe I'll help you for a bit, Mew. Sauce moss, broccoli. Be grateful, Mew. <gasps> you will? Oh, I'm grateful. <laughs> Let's be buds, Puchiko. Not Puchiko, broccoli. And now, we have another new character, in the form of this girl named Broccoli. Now, I assume like Marvy, you have extra cutscenes as you have cutscenes as well, probably leading to a gallery pick. Let's leave Planetune, let's go back into Planetune, see if something's gonna happen. Nope, nothing happened, maybe there's something going on in another. Elsewhere. The station. Let's see what we got going on in the station. Does it involve Miss Brooke Gapuchiko here? Tell me what this round yellow thing you always ride is. Gemma, you. Gemma? 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 What? Yes, you. Um, sorry, maybe I didn't word that clear enough. What is a Gemma? From the looks of it, it's upside down and has a face. Gemma is Gemma, you. I don't understand, you broccoli. I wouldn't argue that, but I'm asking what a Gemma is. And I'm telling you, Gemma is Gemma, you. Noir is such a hard-headed butt munch when it comes to getting the answer she wants to hear. <laughs> butt munch. Really? Is much new. <gasps> I don't understand this at all, apparently. <laughs> okay, that was short. Hey there, we're saying 1000. My newest add on, he my newest friend here on the PlayStation 3. Now, let's see. Are there any more cutscenes involving Broccoli? Or is that it? Oh, nope, we got something else. Broccoli, I have a favor to ask. What, you? Um, that Gemma you ride on? I want to try riding it, too. Uh. <laughs> hey, you just gave me an eat shit and die with <laughs> <one, didn't you? laughs> I don't see that as an eat shit and die look. That's, <laughs> uh, that's pretty. I don't know why I keep saying pretty like that, but I can't help it. It's just how I say pretty when playing a game like this. Well, it is you, Noir. Oh, Such hi, Bert. Where'd you come from? It is you, Noir. Can't be helped. Yes, tis thee, Noir. Helped, it cannot be. Because it's you, Noir, Mew. Come on, all of you! You weigh too much, Noir. Honestly, I'm oh. Neptune and myself would be pushing it. <laughs> Not true. I mean, a passing glance will tell you that I'm fairly petite and I weigh far less than I look. And you're making another nasty face! You've upset them on you. Noir, I would recommend dropping it before this becomes more embarrassing for you. The impossible is impossible. Uh, Im impossible, my bony ass! I'm telling you that I'm really light! <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Be that way. Oh, Bert. If you were to try to ride that thing, your bubble butt would flatten it instantly. <laughs> damn. Just damn. Excuse me? Where did that comment come from? Knowing you, I'm sure you'd like to have a companion who is also unable to ride Gemma. And with the wagon you're dragging, I'm certain it would be squashed flat. M my rear is nowhere near as large as a wagon or a dragon. It is tall and petite, as is the rage right now. Hmm, I wonder about that. Besides, rather than riding it. <laughs> poke, poke. I take it 
take more joy in poking it as such. Yama looks happy now, compared to when Noir was talking you. <laughs> poke, poke. It's really elastic and snaps right back into its original shape. Feels nice. Hmm. Isn't there something that kind of does something like that? Again, there's a reference I don't know in there. Pokety pokety poke! <laughs> this is the best activity ever! Yes, you are all bringing Gemma great happiness, Mew. D does it really feel that nice? <sighs> okay, then me too! Let me guess. <laughs> Because it's you. <laughs> you, you, you. Because it is you, Noir. Because it's you, Mew. I refuse to accept this mutiny! I'm tired now. I'm going to bed. Bye-bye, Mew. Hey! Wait! Not until I get a few pokes in! <laughs> oh, I admit. This little girl produces some pretty funny cutscenes. Are there any more? Or can I... Or is that it? What if I miss something involving Marvie in here? I'm gonna keep coming back here and see if something else is gonna happen. But is that it in terms of broccoli here? Or is there another secret unknown cutscene in the Psylocom of Platitude? And don't forget... Uh, oh, we got more. Do you have any special abilities? Hi, Nepcare. Yes, I can shoot beams from my eyes, Mew. I love how she says that with that look on her face. Like, <laughs> yes, I can shoot beams from my eyes, Mew. Goodness, really? Your eyes are sparkly, Mew. That's what I was about to say. But what up with your eyes, Broccoli? Is it something similar to the super robot something something Z? Super Robot Something Something Z. I don't get the reference, but yes, I can shoot eye beams, Mew. I I want to see how it happens. Just once is okay. So, please, if I must, but only once, Mew. Uh, another gallery pick, possibly? Yippee! Oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. Ah, <laughs> uh, Nepgear. Holy f- Mikarabim. That's that's that was creepy. And why do I get freaking Harari Suzumiya vibes from that? Wait, those weren't beams. More like I go pouring out of her eyes. Never mind. Uh, oh dear, the mysterious eye booger gel is getting all over the hardwood flooring. I swear we'll be so mad. You failed. When you fail, does that food come out? Other things like spoken water may appear, depending on you. Uh, should I try it till I succeed you? How is your success rate? 50 50 new. About half, huh? Yes. Either I succeed or fail you. Huh? That's what you mean when you say 50-50? But I mean, do you succeed or fail more often? I fail much more often, Mew. In that case, let's give it a rest for today. Are you sure, Mew? I really want to see it, but if the floor gets any more gunk on it, heads will roll. <laughs> Broccoli learned Mikata Beam. I gotta see that so much. Side, any other scenes? Doesn't look like it. Let's go back in the planet too. Let's go back to the silicon again. Another one. <laughs> okay. I feel I will succeed this time, Mew. Success 
seed? With what? The Mecharo theme, you! But I thought you said you fail at it quite often. I did, and I do, you. But I got a good feeling today, you. And I wanted you to see it, Nepgear, you. Oh, okay. Before you try, allow me to prepare. Please wait just a moment. Nice preparation. Wash bin's purpose, you? Okie dokie. Now please feel free to unleash your Mechara beam without worrying about any sort of mess. This could be unintentionally rude, you know that, Nepgear, you? <laughs> well, here I go, you. What's going to come out of Rise this time? What the goodness? She really shot out some eye beams? That truly was the type of eye beam I see every night in my dreams. <laughs> um, because of the beam, the wall kind of. <laughs> and FK Rise, by the way. Got busted, Mew. Got busted. Oh no. I'm definitely going to get an earful from East War for this. How can I explain this to her? <laughs> Please, you. <laughs> Broccoli learns. Mikata Beam! I love how cool she goes from learning Mikata Beam to Mikata Beam! <laughs> what up with that? Once again, step outside. No other events except for that one in GC. Go back to the Basilicom. Is there another one? This is going to be going on for a while, isn't it? Go to a place called Gamers, right, Broccoli? What's it like? There is a store that sells anime and video game merchandise, Mew. I cannot ignore such a discussion. Suddenly, Vert. Goodness, Vert. Where did you come from? Such surprises are bad for the heart, Mew. My sudden appearance is an inconsequential triviality. I wonder about that. It is very consequential, Mew. So tell me, does that store carry all kinds of games? Yes, and they often come with bonus items exclusive to that store, Mew. Besides games, they also sell manga and novels. Such things also come with special bonuses, Mew. And PC games? What of that lot? Perhaps one of an adult nature? <laughs> Vert, why so serious? Of course they have those, Mew. And I just paid attention to freaking Gemma, Gemma. You know, that thing Broccoli's sitting on. Its eyes are changing too. <laughs> now then, if you'll excuse me. <sighs> you. He sure did. Why are there so many goddesses who fail to listen to anything other people say, you? I, I wonder. <laughs> but honestly, I wouldn't mind paying a visit to gamers either. Why not start the first one here in game industry yourself, Broccoli? It is possible. If it seems that I will be stuck here for a while, then I will consider it, Mew. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Now, I will leave Platitude. I will step back into Platitude. I will step into the Basilicom event. Broccoli, why do you have so many more cutscenes than Marvy did? Or maybe Marvy has more cutscenes, I just haven't seen them yet. Um, Neptune? Why are you making those strange off-key noises to a harmony? Marvy was in a musical, and it just aired on TV. So now she's all into musicals. <laughs> My 
sister's always been really easily influenced. You cannot beat her. The musical beat Unless this is another Marvy cutscene right now. Okay, stop. That's really run its course. It sounds lively in here. Oh, hi, Marvy. What's going on, ladies? Neptune watched the musical you were in and hasn't shut up since. Well, sure, some people get that way. It's actually why I got into musicals in the first place. You too, Marvy? Uh huh. I got into it after working as an actress's bodyguard. I even suggested that my academy should put on musicals as part of our assignments for artsy things. Even if it was your assignment, the fact that you got to see a live musical makes me jealous. You've never seen one live, Noir? I'd like to at least once, but my impression is that theater is pricey, so we never bother. Besides, ever since I became a CPU, I've been busy, so... Oh man, I feel that. On those rare days off, you just want to rest your bones after all that working. <laughs> Nepgear, was that last line supposed to be a joke? I... I wonder... You should all come to my Academy's musical! It's based on games and anime made for the youth of today, so it's pretty easy to follow. I think we're putting on a show in Planetune next week, so I'll get you some good tickets. Really? Yes! Are you sure? Those are expensive, aren't they? Don't worry. As long as you end up liking musicals more than you did going in, I'll be happy. Okay, so apparently that was another... Marvy cutscene. Get, stop getting me all mixed up with stuff. I'm trying to do each character separately, you know. Another one? But of course. <laughs> Jeez, million up quiz is a hoot and a holler. Hey, Marvy, think our next challenger will win? Marvy, why are you asleep? Marvy? Huh? She's on deck. She's mumbling. Could this be a nightmare? <gasps> That's a lot of punctuation. What happened, Marvy? Where am I? Did you forget? You were watching Million Up Quiz with me whilst we ate tangerines under the kotatsu. Right? I must have dozed off. What happened? You're sweating like a cow. Was it a bad dream? Yes. A dream of the past. A few years ago, I was on an assignment with two of my ninja companions. We thought it was a simple task, but we fell into the enemy's trap. We escaped the trap. But as we did so, my companions were seriously injured. I gave my all to help them, but I wasn't able to. As I wept, they said to me, You look better with a smile, so never stop smiling. I made a vow that day. Just as my precious comrades told me to, I vowed to keep on smiling. So I took the blades and names of those two girls and created my ninja code name, Marvelous AQL. From now on, we will continue to protect game industry. Well, time to go on patrol! What a story, Mark. You were tossing and churning, so maybe you should sleep and recover from sleeping. It was just a silly dream about my past. I'm perfectly fine. Besides, no matter what happens, as long as I have these with me, I'll be fine. And I have to do my best for them, too. Okay, I'm going to patrol with my biggest smile equipped. Uh, thank you, Marvy. Now, let's leave Platitude. 
Let's go back into the planet tune and possibly view another scene. Oh no, not this time. Nope, no new cutscene this time. How about somewhere outside of? Nope. Well, I guess that means I can finally frickin' show off broccoli. But first, I must grind. But first, of course, I must grind. I must grind her a little bit before I show her off. Do the same thing I did with Marvy. Just get her up to at least level 30 or so, then I'll show her off in battle. You can load any time now, game. Lydia, you know what to do. Just hit him with the quick stress release. Kill them all. PC levels up. Uni levels up. Ram levels up. AQL levels up. Broccoli levels up. And learns a bunch of stuff. All ending with the word new. <laughs> I love how one of them is called. Damn. You. Again, please. Alright, now that this is loading quicker, now I can do this again. I can do this quickly. Lydia, stress release, aim for them all, skip scene, boom. Level up, level up. You sat on you. Alright, that's good enough. Now let's say a ruin, so don't forget to put broccoli in my party. That sounds weird as hell, but... It sounds weird and awkward, but uh, yeah. I was about to say, where is she? <laughs> there she is. Bunch of hits. <laughs> Hot new. Break new. But he actually skills as well. Alright, good enough. Now, let's fight. Damn it! Broccoli, let's see what you can do. First, let's see that Miketa Beam. Unnecessary kitty penny shot by the. Uh, uh. Oh, it's healing move? Or does that just like happen at random or something? I attack with an I beat. No. I, I'll heal you instead. Oh, the other Makata Beams are EXE skill. I probably should show that off at some point. That mouth, those lips. <laughs> anyway. I guess that's all I have really to show for Broccoli for now. Hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, Blood Spinning Lizard out. And wow, this video has been long.